Does Sid know, has he played much G6? Uh, looks like probably, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Always nice to play with people who watch on the channel, and Sid is like one of the most active people that comment, which is nice. Alright. Okay, Thatcher's Helper. Uh, read, would, would, read, would, read. I can pay zero, one food to get the wood, read on t Oh, whenever any player takes a family growth action. Okay, in order to get the read, you have to pay for it, but to get wood, you just get it. So this is a three wood, three read action but the read costs you three food that's interesting um i see brushwood collector um permaculturist i really like landscape gardener um i think i'm gonna pass thatcher's helper yeah landscape gardener just a fantastic card Just a fantastic card. Oh, I should put a stream marker on here so that I can cut the video faster. Um, what should I say? I should say two minutes into video. Uh, so yeah, so um, we're playing playing with uh, Fofo, Sid, and Lumen. E I K W M France deck G four G five a G six game. All right. Um, wow, trinket collector looks. What? I didn't turn on G seven. Oh, it's still in G six for some reason. Um, yeah, that looks really strong. Really strong. Each of your, like, the well gives a bonus point. Like, every, it's basically every, it's one point per every improvement. Oh, it doesn't give victory points. Oh, I just, I just, oh, okay, sorry. I re, I read this wrong. Victory points or bonus points. Okay, so if it gives victory points, it doesn't count. Phew, I was going to have a little panic attack there. Fencing Master is the pick then. For sure. Fencing Master, beautiful, beautiful card. Beautiful card. Whoops. Next up. Um, Miller is fantastic with Fencing Master. Because you play it instead of going on the major minor space. Now, ooh, there is Magician. Magician is nice. Thing is, there's so many different ways to get crops in this set. That Magician, I think, is one of the weaker ones. But Magician twice into Landscape Gardener 2 fields is going to be pretty hard to deny that that will be strong. But Miller going with Fencing Master is nice too. Okay, let's take Magician. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That might have been a mistake. If I, if I see any other way of getting a lot of green, I think that was a mistake. But, uh, I mean, it's hard to say. Chess player, when you use the one reed, you get a stone. When you use this one sheep, you get a boar. Okay. Animal dealer is fine. Sunrise admirer is fine. Vegetable vendor is fine. Haberdasher. Yes, actually, I've got some good cards here to consider. Sunrise admirer is good with landscape gardener because I can play it at the end of the game once I've already got my food engine set up. Vegetable vendor 
just goes with landscape gardener really nicely in that you want to get lots of crops haberdasher i can go on so minor or start player bake i think i'm taking sunrise admirer here Mm, brushwood collector the ability to ignore read with this uh, setup is uh, going to be pretty handy pretty handy indeed because I don't really want to go on readstone food I want to play occupations instead and I mean if I go on readstone food twice or three times. That's two for um, for Reno, so I don't actually need it for the uh, the build room action. But yeah, with fencing master in my hand, I'd rather play occupations than anything else. Generally. The other thing is with Fencing Master, you get so much wood from it that it's really appealing to play more than one, um, more than one wood room. Uh, ooh, Passing Hill Cultivator to the Vegetable Vendor. Hmm. Hmm, that'll be a pretty strong space for the Vegetable Vendor. Vegetable, three clay, and a improvement action. But I think Dentist is like the perfect card for me here. Because I'm going to get a bunch of wood from Fencing Master. And I'm going to need lots of food. Yeah, I think Dentist. So if I get a card, like if I got Wood Cart, that would be perfect for me. Um, cards like Driftwood would be good. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm a little sad passing the vegetable vendor the clay from vegetable card, but I mean, I, part of the appeal of vegetable vendor is that you can get vegetable early on the major minor space. The one vegetable space is usually a little more contested because the vegetables convert to points and it's only available for a shorter amount of time. I need to get some water. I've been talking for a while and I need something to drink, so I will be right back. All right. Um, well, Stone Carrier is terrible. Pig Catcher is pretty terrible too. So Parvenu is fine. Um, maybe I get a couple nice clay actions, or maybe I don't play Brushwood Collector. Both of those are options. Okay. Uh, Fruit tart, whenever you go on take one grain or a vegetable, you can get a bake action. That's nice. Corn basket. 
Start of each round if you have the most total grain, one building resource on your choice from the general supply up to a maximum of three. They can be used to pay for extensions and renovations. Okay, yeah, magician, landscape gardener, I should be able to make that work, yes. Uh, goose pond, excellent card. Clogs, excellent card. Um, kudzu is nice for being able to fill up your farm, actually, but I, that'll come back. I don't need it here. Um, the question is, do I need to first pick corn basket? Probably not. Probably if somebody else thinks they're beating me to it, I'm going to have to, I'm going to put them in a position where they have to put a lot of work into it. So I'm taking Goose Pond here. I like prize squash, but I might not get that many, um, I might not get that many um, fields. Grain Shrine. One sheep for each green field that you have. Convert up to three green in your supply to wood. Uh, huh. So it's saying go all in on grain. And I know Permaculturist is out there. Oh. I guess the only other thing I'm seriously considering is Lighthouse. I mean, Drain Pond is fine, but like I said, I might want to avoid the reed space. So, uh, yeah, the only other thing I'm seriously considering is Lighthouse here. Sure, let's take Green Trion. Yeah. This is pretty, so there's a pretty clear path for me. I play Fencing Master, I play Magician, I date, I, Traveling Players once or twice, I play Lands, I maybe Plow once and play Landscape Gardener. Something like that. But I also want to play Dentist too. So yeah, I'm just playing, my goal is play three occupations in stage one right now fencing master magician dentist so that means my family growth is going to come late either way so maybe i should have taken lighthouse if i'm gonna family growth late maybe i should have taken lighthouse grain shrine is pretty expensive the stone cost is not great um the thing is the sheep are maybe not going to be useful the sheep are only useful if I um, build a fireplace or cooking hearth or have a way of holding them. It's just a lot of actions is the thing. And if I'm going to family growth late, I'm not going to have a lot of actions. But uh, we will see. I, I'm happy with Sunrise Admirer. I think I think there's like a path for a pretty nice game here. I'm not totally sure how to make it come about though. Fencing Master slows you down. So there's no doubt that Fencing Master absolutely slows you down because you're um, playing it's an early occupation that doesn't help you build your room at all. And it doesn't help you feed. But Magician does. I like Magician. Uh, well, Crop, cr oh my goodness. Crop crib plus lighthouse. Oh man. What expansion plans? What? 
What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh man. And even Sundial would be pretty like Sundial with for the permaculturist is going to be really good too. I'm going to hope that permaculturist got all the way around to Lumen and then Lumen is going to take crop crib and he's going to pass it back to me. That's that's what it, that's the dream. So then I'll have a four room stone house with lighthouse. Um Well, hammock is a way to use that sheep that I might get from Grain sh Shrine. Uh, I mean, Barber Shop is a pretty generically good card, but the thing is I definitely can't afford it if I'm going to play Dentist. Um, or maybe it's the perfect card for me. So there's two ways I can look at this game. I can place hammock. I can play hammock and go, um, and like the green shrine will give me sheep that I can use to play hammock, or I can barber shop. Like who? Uh, Super G made this. Like expansion plans. It just uh, building freestone rooms is too strong. We know this. We know this from. Um, Contract Builder. Barbershop or Hammock? That's the two I'm looking at. Barbershop is... Um, Barbershop is the way to go if I'm going to build stone rooms. Hammock is the way to go if I'm going to get... If I get Lighthouse, both of them are good. I don't get Lighthouse... Probably only one of, the, one of them is good. Fruit tart, you need to have an oven. Um, okay, I can do that. I mean, I like kudzu. I think kudzu is a, can be like pretty underrated. Also, this is looking like parvenu will be nice. If I'm gonna do a reno, early reno strategy, parvenu could be really good but probably with clay rather than with reed. Uh, this is a hard, hard choice. Stone exchange, if I get locked out of reedstone food a lot early, stone exchange is totally fine. Um, you know what, let's grab stone exchange. And Goblet came back. Goblet plus Stone Exchange is fine. Um, don't want to play Heat Wave with an early Reno strategy. So not really going to consider anything else. Even if I don't play Goblet, I think it's fine. Yeah. And Crop Crypt came back. But not Lighthouse. Hmm. Thing is, I can play expansion plans and then play crop crib. Maybe somebody just denied lighthouse. Yeah, that's possible, Marscott. Or that they took it saying, well, I won't play it, but if expansion plans comes back, sure. Something like that. But yeah, the way this game is looking to me, I need to feed. Feeding is always very important. So for me, Magician is still worth playing. Fencing Master is just so much value that it's going to be worth doing Fencing Master Magician. And then see when Reno comes. I know it's not great, but...
Interestingly, crop crib This is, this might be a game. This might be a game. So I'll play Fencing Master to start. Love this guy. Just makes your, just makes your life so much easier. It lets me play all my occupations and I like playing all my occupations. And I mean, the, like realistically, the reason I like playing occupation, all my occupations, is the set that we play with. The power is the power level of the cards, especially since we play draft nine. You know, you're seeing the top. Yeah, seventy five percent. You're only taking the top seventy five percent or whatever. Sid going vegetable capitalist plus vegetable. We saw this last game. Fortunately, I have Sunrise Admirer. I don't have a way of getting vegetables in particular, but with Sunrise Admirer, I have a pretty clear path towards um, doing good stuff. Um, and I will play a minor improvement here. Or no, I won't. I will play two clay, sure. Two clay is fine. Two clay is stone exchange. But yeah, crop crib gives me a pretty clear path that I'm going to be going with stone rooms. Because yeah, I can play expansion plans and then I can play crop crib and grow with crop crib while I'm waiting for the stone to come. And I'll get enough green with magician that it's going to be worth uh, doing. Sundial for Sid and V. Crop Crib is an attack card because it lets you uh, build a room and start player with the same action. I assume is what you're referring to, Marscock, and I totally agree. Totally agree. So second action will be um, day labor or sorry traveling players. And on traveling players, I get uh, an extra food and a grain. Park cemetery for Fofo. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> first action, park cemetery. Did he first pick field doctor? Oh man, if he first picked field doctor and then I pass him crop crib, that will be good for him. Well, actually. Field doctor doesn't give room for a family member. So yeah, actually it's not uh, it's not that good. Never mind. I mean it gives you a way of clearing up so you can build more rooms, which is nice, but it doesn't let you immediately grow with that third room. So Yeah, weird. Weird game. So I guess if I look at the wording um, landscape gardener is not a planted field it's funny because it's a grain field but it's not a planted field I guess I would say maybe his evening prayer yeah he he might but then Lumen jumped on the plow space <laughs> Uh, uh, Lumen maybe has um, Lighthouse. Lighthouse definitely would like to grab the extra stone whenever it's available. Okay, now how do I say this? Boston? Where's Alex Pove when I need him? How do I say this? He's not online. I think it's Boston. I think it was, I think it was triggering him that I was saying Boatswain. Which is the way it's written, but not the way it is pronounced, I guess, correctly. Um, 
What's my first move here? I can't play Dentist until I get uh, Wood. So do I want to first move take Wood, second move um, play Dentist? Fofo first move Park Cemetery. Whoa. And he played an occupation, so he definitely does not have oh this this game. Oh man. And I'm gonna pass him crop crib. I'm gonna pass the Boston crop crib. What the Oh man. Um Reedstone food is available and I should be taking Reedstone food whenever I can. Yes, because I want to get to a stone house and I need reed and stone to do that. In fact, I only need one more reed stone food to do so. this guy hmm well I can play an occupation here or I can take three I can take three clay or what else I guess I can magician here yeah magician is probably the best move yeah expansion plans is probably too good Okay, it's, it's not that it's too good, it's that it enables a strategy that probably screws with the game too much. Put it that way. And if I don't get my dentist out here, I'm probably not playing it. But I think it's worth it. First move, take three wood. Second move, dentist. I think it's worth it. Fofo is going to fish with his second move. Lumen will... Read stone food, maybe. Yeah. Okay, that works. three wood so second action I'm happy with four clay um, expensive occupation is not ideal but I'll do it I'll do it to get the uh, dentist out And it might come back. Let's see what Lumen does. Lumen might take wood so that it can build the well. Might take four clay. Four clay is a pretty nice action. Yeah, four clay. Cool. So I have to pay for the dentist, and then I get uh, get even more. 
Yeah, Illumin says you don't have enough food. <laughs> I need more. I'm greedy. I want more, more, more. Oh, perfect. Reno came early. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, oh, Reedstone food's available. I have to take Reedstone food. And my second action will be... Um, Goose Pond, I guess. Reno Goose Pond. It's kind of wasteful to not use the major aspect, but... And then the second one will be Reno Expansion Plans. Wouldn't be bad, too bad if I could get Stone Exchange out. But Stone Exchange I can play any time, so... Why didn't Fofo take Crop Crib? He saw it in his fourth pack. Okay, he builds Clay Oven, that's nice. Yeah, I don't there is nothing else really for me to do here other than this. Oh, one, two, three, four from Goose Pond. Oh, and I should have six wood on my fencing master. So my second move is going to be expansion plans. No, that should be my first move, maybe. And then my second move can be traveling players. Because it would be kind of nice. Well, hmm. I need two fields for crop crib, so I need to get that going. So it would be nice to get one more, uh, one more traveling players improvement out. Vegetable vendor out here for Sid. Can I show you crib? Sure. Oh, three sown grain. It doesn't work with Boatswain. Well, it does because it gets him a lot of grain, but it doesn't work in terms of he can't fish and then do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I want a magician. So let's do it. So expansion plans, add four to the current round number. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I put a stone room on there. Oh. <sighs> Maybe next round, plow, field gardener. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, Marascock. That's that's exactly what I had planned. So yeah, for the second move here is traveling players. And then, yes, plow a field. And then occupation, um, landscape gardener. And I will convert uh, one more wood for dentist. Uh, will I? It would be nice to not have to take wood again in order to be able to play um, Crop Crib. But if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to play anything on the major minor action that I'm going to gain. So, or on the minor action.
Oh, Fofo did start player to pass. Sid, first family growth. Yeah, that is lame. Yeah, Fofo shouldn't... I don't think he should have first action. Uh, I don't think he should have done that. But that's just me. But Lumen gets the well, so it, it's not terrible. But that immediately jumps Sid up into uh, pull position. Absolutely. I guess I'm a bunch of actions away from being able to play, or at least one action away from being able to play any of my minor improvements. So I think converting one more wood is fine. Sid saying that was a bit lucky for me. Yep, it was. Fofo, I I think my my philosophy is you'd never do that. That's just not something you should be doing. But uh, there's four wood available. It is kind of hard to pass on four wood. Lumen's got arms. That's nice. I don't need it, so I'll just put it over there. Um, four wood, right? How am I passing on four wood? I like plow into sow. I like plow into landscape gardener. I think that's a pretty good option as well. Yes, I did. I had more stuff until he uh, did that. I could still uh, landscape gardener here. I guess what I'm thinking is with three grain, um, if I plow twice and then play landscape gardener, then I only need to do one sow before I play crop crib. If I plow and then landscape gardener, I would have to plow again and then sow and then play crop crib. And that would be, so this I think is okay. So I just need to plow the next two rounds, and then I'll probably take a vegetable so I can I can sow three green and a vegetable all at once, really early. Lumen's got Wealthiest European. Nice. It's always a fun card. Always a very fun card. Um... Lumen has the first action family growth, so I'm going to let, oh man, how do I pass on four wood and then six wood? I don't, right? Especially when I'm converting wood to food. So it's two food, two food, and convert a wood. another wood. thing about dentist is you don't get the payoff for the wood until the f harvest after you've converted which is kind of I mean I guess it would be pretty it would be way too strong like it would be a very strong card otherwise if you could get the immediate payoff so I mean I with those two actions I've way delayed my crop crib but I think that's okay because it's looking like I'm going to get, uh, oh, ruins, that's really nice. Ruins with uh, Wealthiest European after he's already built the well. Pretty neat. Because the thing is usually rather than play ruins, I'd just rather play the well and get the uh, food payoff instead of the uh, other thing. You tie. No, you have to have the most.
okay, so Fofo needs to build. So for him to grow ahead of me, he needs to start player. But Lumen has is in a position where he can build a room. Sid and V is in a is in a position where he can build a room. So he's got to be careful that he doesn't get jumped. So I'm in a spot where I sh I should be looking for start player. Start player stuff. Buffo is renewing. What? What was he doing? Lumen saying, oh, thought you had Lighthouse for sure until this. Yes, I'm pretty sure Fofo took Lighthouse. I'm guessing based on the fact that he's renovating with this move that he's got Lighthouse. Thing is, if he renos here, his corn basket is useless. So, I don't know. I think it's a bit of a misplay, but... Who knows? It's hard for me to evaluate what other people are doing when I don't see their full hand. And I'm not really looking from their perspective. Everything I'm seeing is biased from mine. Yeah. With that stone grab, I'm sure. Pretty sure. Well, pretty sure, I would say. Lumen playing Lady of the Manor. I guess it's three wood playing it here. So I'm going to plow a field because there's no uh, key actions that I need at the moment. So I'll plow. So if my next round Crop crib is two planted fields. So I could do plow and then and then um, landscape gardener. The thing about that is and it would let me play on crop crib, which would be kind of nice. What? I'm not sure Fofo did any of that right. I don't think he paid for stone. Did he only have one clay on his farm? He might have. So it's not on your farm. If it's not on your farm at the end of the round, then you don't, it uh, doesn't subtract. So the big thing I need at this point, actions. I need actions, 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 actions. Um, maybe playing crop crib is not gonna be worth it. Maybe with this being a late family growth game, and me being in a position to grow fourth, but have it immediately be a free stone room, which is crazy strong. Um, yeah, maybe that's uh, a fine position to be in and that I don't need to crop crib. Or that if I do, I can crop crib, like start play around 12. Like I don't need to be laser focused on getting it out as soon as possible. It would be kind of nice to win the Lady of the Manor bonus. I should be able to do that. With all the wood I have and all the resources, I should be able to. Oh, I forgot about uh, Sunrise Admirer. Uh, 
I want to move it over here. Sid wants to play the more expensive. It is interesting. Well, I need to start player here because and I will play stone exchange because I have more wood than I need. Would have been nice if I could have played barbershop there for a nice four points, but I didn't have the read, so I think it's okay. There's a, the lighthouse, of course. So Sid should respond by family growth thing. Unusual for Twibble and Twivel to be uh, so weak. Normally you can get like a good amount of food from it, but not in this game. Man, I. I could have I took Rage Ride instead of Lighthouse. Oh, can you imagine what this game would look like? Oh. Sid saying so no one can grow. So for my second move. Should I take clay so that I can play Grain Shrine? I'd rather just play joinery, I guess. So in that case, I should take a uh, vegetable, I think. So my uh, family growth will be a no. Actually, not necessarily. I will have a move before I can family growth. Hmm. Not enough, though. I won't have enough... Uh, rooms, moves. I would like to get on plow again. Need to play my... Need to play my Sunrise Admirer. Need to play Landscape Gardener. Welcome back, Moorscoff. Why are you hoarding so much wood? Because I have Dentist! And also Lady of the Manor is out. So joinery and or four stables will be very nice for this game. Probably use four stables, most likely. Mm. 
Yeah, so if I can do fields, grain, uh, pastures, stables, that should that's usually enough to win uh, Lady of the Manor. Four is usually enough. If I need to get to a fifth, vegetable will probably be the easiest one. Oh, man, I'm going to pass him crop. Oh, you know what? No, because he's going to harvest. Oh, man. Oh, poor. Poor Fofo. Five usually wins, four usually ties. Yeah, so that's what, yeah. So tying, tying is good enough. Sid says, thought you'd play Lighthouse to get six wood. Joke's on you, Sid. I'm not even going to take six wood. Actually, maybe I will. Hey, Lumen takes the three wood. Thanks for the table talk, Sid. Three rooms incoming. Oh, Lumen is saying he's going to be... Th that would be funny. Potato dibber. On family growth. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, that's something. One extra vegetable. Ooh. Okay, um, so yeah, I have a free move here because I do not have to, uh, I do not have to do anything in particular. Um, oh, did I feed? I don't think I fed. So, um, uh, three dent F and wood two dent. Whoops, I only needed to get rid of one food. And on this turn, I will... You know what, I'm going to Occupation Sunrise Admirer here. Because why would I do anything else, I guess? So actually, next round will be perfect to play Landscape Gardener. Yeah. Sid so says, so much action efficiency, really like your game. Um, Freestone rooms are stupid, and um, also late FG, late family growth game, is uh, silly. Oh, I should put another Fencing Master tick on there. You know, it's too bad that Sunrise Admirer has a hard cap of three. It's not worded in such a way that you can infinitely combo it, unfortunately. Like, I, what would be really sweet, um, what would be really sweet is if I could remove the field and then re-Sunrise Admirer it. 
um, if it was kind of worded so that it was combo friendly, but it's not combo friendly because it specifically says at the start of the next three rounds. It doesn't, if you imagine you got rid of at the start of um, each round, if it just said at the start of each round, you may pay two food to blah, blah, blah. And if you ever choose not to or can't, you discard. You could write, you could read it, uh, write it that way. Um, yeah. And if you, if you wrote it that way, then it would be super um, combo friendly. And then what I could actually do is remove, pay for the crop crib with Sunrise Admirer at, or with the Sunrise Admirer field and then plow another one for another two food. But uh, unfortunately, it's not written that way. So that's why I always like, as when you're writing, if you have this as simple text as possible, then if you use the simplest text, then, you know, stuff can work with other stuff nicely. So first action for me is probably Landscape Gardener. Second action, Start Player Crop Crib. If crop if Start Player Crop Crib is not available, then I will Major Minor Crop Crib. That's fine. Sing. I blocked him while well, I went on occupation. <laughs> I don't really. Oh, he wanted to occupation. Oh, does he have like Chamberlain? If he has Chamberlain, this would be. No, he, there's no way he has Chamberlain. No way. What does he have? He has. Um, that card, Debt Collector, maybe? He might have Debt Collector. I don't know what he what he might have. Hard to say. So if I play one more occupation, landscape gardener, I'll have eight wood on my fence master. So I only need seven in total to fully do fifteen. So that means I would need one four wood action in order to be able to. Uh, sorry, I would need two. I would need five more wood because I'm going to pay one for crop crib. Yeah, seven plus crop crib, so I have three left for stables, so I would need five more wood to do uh, do four stables, which is two actions. So it's three actions for four points and maybe another three points, so that's good efficiency, assuming I have the feeding and everything. I probably won't convert for dentist anymore. Actually, hmm, five wood. Am I likely to do only five wood in two actions? What if I do four and two or three and three? If I do three and three, I'm going to have an extra wood. So I could dentist convert. It probably depends on if I get a wood this round or not. And the other thing is the stable action might get blocked at the end of the game. It is fencing. There's lots of great actions here. I guess I could fence and take uh, animals, but I'm pretty sure these guys are going to take them and eat them. Or at least Sid will. Sid is fencing, so he's going to grab cattle or sheep. Uh, you know what? Fofo is going to family growth. Okay, so instead of instead of landscape gardener, I could fence and then. Well, I could landscape gardener then fence. Uh, no, I can't fence. He's on fence, of course. What am I thinking? I'm not allowed to go on fence here. Lumen Reno fireplace.
Fofo playing minor kudzu. I'm gonna assume that this is on Family Grove. Yep. Good, good, good. Yeah, kudzu is nice because he can't fence big, so he's gonna fence really small and tight. He gets like a pretty underrated card. The ability to fill your fill of blank spaces is actually really strong because it means your fencing is cheaper to cover all your, your spaces. And Sid's got prize squash, unsurprisingly. Pretty clear card to pick with his combo. So I want to get this out of the way. Uh, oh, what? I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have a grain in my supply. Oh, and I'm going to harvest next round. Oh, I screwed up. screwed up. I forgot I needed that. Yeah, I didn't do the math right. Yeah, too many cards I haven't used before. I'm not using them properly. One, two, three, and this should also have eight on it. I'm not counting that right either. Uh, so I should have had one more grain. Because now my grain just accumulates so much slower. Because instead of having two fields that I'm collecting from, I'm only collecting from one. Sid says the same thing that I did. Too bad it's capped out the way that it is. Sunrise, that is. Um... Uh, okay, what am I doing here? I could... You know what, three wood is probably fine. Uh, Sid... You know what, no, nah, three wood. I'll get Magician next round. So, uh, Dent for, um, and then two food, wood, two Dent. So this should be the last wood that I convert, that I put on Dentist. So I have to take off two, and then another two, and then I'm going to plow, to the second two is for my Sunrise Admirer. There we go. All right, that's all set. Yeah, actually that's, it makes it so much harder for me to get to uh, Lady the Man. Well, you know what? Not that much harder. I just need to remember that uh, um, what, what, what was I saying? I'm just talking to myself. I need to remember something. Uh
first move fence. Start player to get plow so. Mm, plow so is good, but I might get it next round without using any actions. I think I actually need food. I think five food fishing is actually quite appealing to me. Yeah, let's try that. So next action, family growth, and then third action. You know what? I don't actually need to travel players next round. I could fence next round. Or fence this round. That's an option. Fofo, I'm sure this is start player. Yeah, that's too bad. But there's a chance that I get something good. Yeah, I'll fence because I want to be able to hold. There's going to be a bunch of animals available next round. Okay, not fencing, family growth thing. I'll fence like that. So seven and eight. Oh, oh, he's right. Debutant, I didn't even read it. Lumen's cards are not visible. Sorry, let's move them over a little. Yeah, he played debutante. So debutante can only use occupied action spaces. So I should have uh, should have not family growth. Kimball says hello, hello Kimball. So Lumen gets to uh, grow because I did. So that's kind of too bad. But uh, I missed that. I just missed that totally. So yeah, welcome Kimball. This game is weird. We had Lighthouse and Expansion Plans in the same draft. And also Crop Crib, which lets you build stone rooms for the cost of a field, a grain field with three grain on it, and a wood and another grain. So what you're paying is four grain, a field, and a wood for a stone room. And it's passing minor. So... Lofo really wants to get, he needs to get another, uh, the thing is you need three grain on the field. If you don't have three grain on the field, then you don't get, uh, 
max value out of it. And also if he builds another room he doesn't get max value either. This is kind of a silly game. Uh, I pay another two food for uh, Sunrise Admirer. So the way you can write Sunrise in Myra so that it's combo friendly is say at the start of each round you may plow one of the three empty spaces, th three easternmost spaces at the cost of two food. If any of those spaces are empty and you choose not to or cannot discard this card, something like that. I don't know if the text is actually that much simpler if you write it that way, but it is a little simpler. Marscox says it already has power. I want it to be better. I just, I want it to be, <laughs> I want it to have more. I'm going to start player nothing here so that I get Plowso. I want Plowso in the last round. And I also don't want Fofo to start player cash crop ahead of me. Or not cash crop, whatever it is. Crop, cash field. What? He's building a room normally? That's weird. I'm curious to see how the numbers will end up for Lady of the Manor. Because it might be that um, it might be that um, playing joinery is better than staples for me, because joinery would be a three-point move. Uh, yeah. Oh, Kimball says now he can family growth in crop crib and then family growth again next round. Right. Okay, that's right. Oh, because Lighthouse provides room for a family member. That's right. So you can do, you can do whatever you want. Is Plow available? If Plow comes back, I want that because it's a Lady of the Manor points. Okay, Lumen's on Plow. That's fine. I'll take two cattle. Um. I want a magician with my last move. It should be all the food I need for the rest of the game, plus, um, plus a grain, which is another thing. Yeah, two cow constellation prize. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, and I'm, I probably will get two boar or two sheep back as well. Oh, yeah, there it is. Family growth crop, crop crib. Yeah, this card, how many times do you pass it to someone who can then play it themselves and actually have it be a good thing? Like his whole game, he based his whole game around Bossin and uh, what was the other card? And uh, Park Cemetery. Oh man, Kimball. Uh, Fofo, second action, round one, Crop Cemetery. And then he was like first action, and then first action plow went like the next three rounds. Like Lumen first action plowed, and Fofo did twice, I think, because he wanted to get to four fields before that first harvest, which he did just barely. But Lumen took three food fishing. Like, it was it was an absolute gong show. And, uh, and then Lumen was going to be the first person to grow round seven, but then Fofo start players to let... Um, to let um, Sid jump ahead of him. 
A very strange game. And of course, I'm allowed to build a freestone room, which is which is a freestone room. Like I, I get that it's fun to combo these cards together, but putting that many re it puts that many resources into the game at no cost to myself. It's uh, probably too good. Probably expansion plan should have a cost on it. Like either a cost that you play pay when you play it, or like a two wood one read cost, or a cost that you pay play, um, to bore not bad, or a cost that you pay when you um, when you build the room. Probably need should have one of those two things. Like even if it's not too strong on its own because you have to wait four rounds like it's still I, I i don't know like yeah it's i i guess this is an unusual game because we had round five reno and round seven family growth but i mean it's a freestone room and it just let me do anything other than take wood resources like i don't know i don't know oh cattle dealer love this guy Um, I can take two sheep or I can magician. Uh, you know what? I actually have enough food if I don't, uh, family growth in the last round, but I probably can because Sid and Fofo will both be at five. So... Getting more green is usually good. I mean, the sheep might come back to me. I don't know. Anyway, so I need to feed... Uh, I need to take off three food because of my dentist. So, so... So, so, so. Oh, yeah, and now I have way too much green, too. Ah, whatever. I think it's fine. Four bonus points from Capitalist. Oh, and I didn't breed either of my animals, either. If I didn't traveling players, I'd only have seven green. Yes, I I know, I know. But I could try. I could traveling players this round and like improve my action quality. Like I could take green with my last action of the game. Because I don't. I won't end up needing the food unless I get family growth. That's the only case in which I need the food. And if I need the food, I can eat the seventh grain. The only time that I absolutely need the food, need the grain, is if I, if it means that I'm going to get Lady of the Manor bonus points. Okay, so Lumen's going to be fields, vegetables. I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm winning Lady of the Manor because I have both types of crops and pastures. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to take sheep. I'm not really sure what to do here. I could take wood and then build stables with my last two moves. Yeah, three sheep and family growth are both three points. Yep. Yes, they are. So I'm in three categories for Lady of the Manor. Um, no one's getting to four. 
Yeah, no one's getting to four. Ooh, unless uh, Lumen does with... No, not even with Cattle Dealer. There's no way. So three looks like what we're tying at. So if I can beat Lumen on Family on Lady of the Manor, that might be enough for me to win. Because I don't think. Um, Sid does have some nice improvement points, that's for sure. I don't know. We'll see what comes back. Taking four, um, yeah, I guess my highest point total is family growth and then joinery and tying Lady the Manor. The only difference between four wood and, and four wood stables and family growth joinery is, um, is whether I beat Lumen. It's like a swing with Lumen if I get other stuff. Family growth is fine. Is Lumen's last two move? Oh, 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 he's gonna run a fence here. Yeah, he can't so Okay, so maybe I, may, maybe I win Lady of the Manor outright, which is actually ridiculous to think of. Winning it outright with only three. But I guess family growth came late, so that kind of screwed up stuff. And there's also no plows in the game. I had the only plow with Sunrise Admirer. That's pretty strong for me to be in that position. Sid saying he's sad that he had to do capitalist with vegetable. Yeah, it's a little sad, I guess. That's not terrible. Only him and I are getting it. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. Oh, he's thinking, okay, that's fine. If I win this, should I go for three games in a row? Three videos in one day? I don't have anything to do later. I have to go grocery shopping, but other than that, I don't really have anything that I need to do. It's a three-point joinery. So I feed four food and dentist. I have way too many crops. Man, am I feeding this game? Magician, dentist, goose pond. That's how I fed the whole game. I didn't eat any crops. I didn't eat any animals. That's pretty uncommon. Pretty sure I'm getting three points from Lady the Manor, so I'll just put that on there. All right, let's see what's our final scores here. Sid might win. Yeah, he's got a nice farm. Very few negatives. Lots of points from his improvements. But I score 55. I score 55. Yikes. Um, 48, 4, 3, 55 here. GG. Um, Sid might have me beat. Sid might have me beat.
So close to posting a win without majors, yeah. <laughs> I guess, uh... If I win by more than one point, I could have built stables. Oh, we tied. There we go. Nice tie. GG. The only reason we tied is because everything in this game went my way. Round 5 family growth, or round 5 reno, round 7 family growth. Me being able to grow in 4th in position. Yeah, sure. 55... I guess Sid had some stuff go his way as well. What does Fofo have? 40, I think. Yeah, the last, the way the last round went is uh, was really good for me as well. Bye, Kimball. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, strange, strange, strange game. That magician in action ended up not being that good. It was only a one point. Win. I was only a one point move. And all my other moves were like three or more points on all of them. Alright, two wins in a row. Um, I might play one more. I'm having fun. The site's pretty active. Um, what do you guys think? Should I play one more? do for sure is I'm going to stop this video. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks very much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you're watching live, uh, refresh the stream in like 30 seconds and I'll be back and I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. I need to get somebody for sure first though, before I play another one. 